As with all of these workouts, use any weight you want or no weight at all, depending on your fitness level. There's four exercises, and each of them is done for one minute each. You can rest as much as you want in between. The idea is try to keep going for the full minute. Here we go. The bag should touch the ground over your head and go over your knees at the top. I'm using 40 pounds, but feel free to use any weight you want. Okay, you don't have to follow along rep for rep. Just do as many as you can in the minute. Go at your own pace. This next movement is called the Kimmy Kicks. All you really have to do is alternate one leg at a time, keeping the leg stiff, and pulling the back over your head. Here we go. Try to touch your toes with your knuckles, but if you can't, extend your fingers and reach for your toes with your fingertips. Okay, I really felt those. That's two minutes of ab with a little bit of break in between. The third ab exercise is gonna be a reverse crunch. The weight's gonna be held straight up and you're gonna lift your hips off the ground, rotate your knees towards your chin. And on these, you know if you're doing it right, if you lift your lower back all the way off the ground. Take a slight pause at the top and contract your abdominal muscles. That way you don't work on just momentum. Okay, if we're gonna take a break, this would be a good time to do it. Because the next one is one of my favorites. It's called hip and shoulder lift, and I want you to be ready for the full minute without stopping. Here we go. This is actually two separate movements, so don't rock back and forth. Take a slight pause at the bottom before you start each movement.
The weight of the bag actually acts as a counterbalance when you lift your hips. Okay, that was four minutes of abs. But the idea is that you're trying to do an ab workout every day. Have a great workout. For more awesome workouts, go to pwrtraining.com or PWR Training YouTube channel.